I had talked to some people who were backstage there, and they said no one will ever know the truth that Brett and Sean didn't like each other, but that Montreal job was planned and Vince could get rid of Brett. Hey, we got the mouse inside with the hamster actually in the wheel right now, spinning around because the time machine is back underway right here at Sports Vita. I'm your host, Mac Davis, along with WWE Hall of Famer Teddy wait, Long. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. What, what? What, what'd you come up with the, the mouse at the wheel running? Yeah, the wheel? Look, what you know, have to be? Look here. What did that have to do with anything? Every time about how to start this show and do it different. So I throw in something different and you're still going to complain. Sit well, back and hush, will you? Okay. Right. <laughs> Our other guest in here every single week is none other than pro wrestling journalist, Mr. Bill After. Hey, Bill. Hey, I'm good, but I want to say something, as I always do before we get into the show. I got a lot of negative comments about um, a recent show that we did where I said that Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Vince McMahon was the greatest worked screw job angle in history the, uh, I, I don't know mac if you saw yeah, any of the I, comments but yeah, I, I actually i have been looking at the comments and 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 i gotta tell you when you brought that up on the show that uh that week you know during that episode about it being a work i actually thought you were crazy i didn't know if you hadn't eaten or no, what is going I, on no i had talked to some people who were backstage there and they said no one will ever know the truth that Brett and Sean didn't like each other, but that Montreal job was planned and Vince could get rid of Brett. So, what do hurt. you guys think? Leave more comments down below because they're fun to read sometimes. Some of them can be kind of mean. So, hey, guys, we don't need all that. But And I hear Rufus in the background. Teddy, you got company? Well, Rufus is the guard dog, brother. He hears <laughs> He lets you know. <laughs> I was crazy to say that I think it might have been uh, the most elaborate work in wrestling history. Well, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I just don't really know what to say about that. Like you say, you talk to some people back, say that may know, but that you got to figure out who those people are. What, who the people that you were talking yeah, to? I, I can't Only remember. person that uh, I, you know, that I would talk to that is, and they told me that, but only the person I basically would believe would be Bruce Fritchett. Okay. And if Bruce Bridget never said that, I just, I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, we don't know, man. We don't know, Bill. We just don't know. Yeah, I've heard that Vince said, you know, give me a black eye just to make this thing look good. So I don't know well, either. That, that, I, I, I've seen that happen too back back, back, you know, back in the day. You know, I've seen mm-hmm. guys to tell guys to do stuff so make it look real. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. you're right. Yeah. What was it, Ricky Steamboat? Wasn't that he took sandpaper to his head and actually... To, to get that rash look that he was getting off the concrete, he went that far. Yeah, that that well, Nick Foley was the guy. He would beat himself up for real, man, you know, to make his stuff look real. Yeah, Nick was the guy. Well, anytime a guy jump off the balcony, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. and then off the top of a cage, so what does that tell you? <laughs> One of the biggest moments in wrestling that I can think of too is watching. I remember watching uh, Mankind throw under, I mean, Undertaker throw Mankind off that cage. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. I, and uh, it, man, the reaction from JR, you know, he's, he's broken in half, that kind of stuff. I actually believed he was dead. I mean, because he, it wasn't, I, you can't, well, you know what I'm saying? It's just impossible. He took that, yeah, that, that yeah. ball was very real. Well, yeah. Mick didn't, you know, you got to, man, give Mick all the credit in the world. God bless him, man. He's a great guy, wonderful guy. I mean, love to be around him. But Nick, had, he did, people didn't understand, Nick started in that backyard wrestling. Yep. Really, they were slamming each other on garbage cans, yep. tables yep. on the ground, everywhere. So he wasn't worried about that fall. Because, I mean, how? I mean, you're going to come a distance, but when you land, you land. So you uh, I, just congratulations to him, man. He certainly made that match. He did. Did you see Bronson Reed uh, outside diving off a ledge outside of the arena in Rhode Island onto a car where uh, Braun Strowman was lying? And, 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 and that I was thinking about, I swear, man, I thought I was thinking about Mick right then because I'm saying yep, Mick would probably be the only guy that would do that. 
Yeah, because that wasn't a short height. I mean, when you see how high up above that car uh, he actually was for that dive onto somebody who's, you know, laying on something basically really firm and their body is sitting there, there's a lot of impact. And those guys aren't small. So, yeah, that was a major moment, I thought, for Raw recently. Well, one thing, you got to have a lot of respect for Mick Foley. There's a man that certainly gave his all in all for this for this wrestling business. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. WWE's Ludwig Kaiser uh, got some high praise from WWE Hall of Famer The Undertaker saying, quote, Gunther is special, but keep an eye out on Kaiser. I think he's going to be special. He's just been waiting for his opportunity because he's been in the shadow of Gunther, end quote. Ludwig could be L.A. nice opponent at Fashion Berlin. Bill, your thoughts? Oh, Ludwig Kaiser is amazing. He's uh well, I, I think he's coming. He's got to get out of the shadow of Gunther, definitely. He's an excellent European style technical wrestler. Uh, he knows what he's doing. His uh, interviews are very good. And I think we're going to see a future major superstar from this guy. Teddy, what do you think uh, about Ludwig Kaiser? I like him. I like Gunther. Remember, man, you talked about him. Golly, I really like him. Yeah, he's, he's going to be the guy, man. I, yeah. You know, I love seeing the package that they originally I had, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah, I, I, I like the package where it was Gunther and uh, Ludwig. And who was the other guy that was in? There was three of them in originally. Yeah, the, uh, um, I can't remember his name, an Italian, a Vinci. Vinci. Vinci? Yes, yes. Yeah, when they, when that group, when they came out to me, was a great group. I hated to see them split off. I know why they do that sometimes. But for me, Gunther and those two guys... It, it just said villain on it. The second you saw him, it said villain. Uh, and, and I like that combination, but I do want to see what Kaiser can do on his own. I just still don't want to see him leave Gunther completely. They're, they're bringing Vinci back as a, uh, as, as a separate character. They've been doing promos on him. 